Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Oh, it was terrible for me to access, right? I was having technical issues, but most importantly, we are here. Okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It was so terrible for me to access the section because the software was not working fine at all. Anyway, happy oh. New Year. I'm so happy to see you one more time. Well, I'm not able to see you. Uh, to uh, because I have an internet show, so I cannot turn on the camera. It was something similar. It was kind of similar here. Okay, so yeah, let's get started with our class. So can you tell me what did you and I talked before in our previous lesson? Previous lesson. Do you remember? Uh, Would you like me to refresh? I think I gave you a homework too. Yeah, I sent you already. Uh, I can you refresh it for me? What yeah, allow, allow me one second. Let me just go to let me just go to Zalo. So then I'll proceed to refresh. Let me see. Uh, can you see my screen? No. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's no problem. Look at what I'm gonna do. Maybe there's something. Okay. L let me show you. Okay, here's the homework. Uh, I'll turn my screen to you. So we can start with our homework and we can go ahead with the rest of the class. So okay. here you make some sentences, right? On the previous um, class, all right? So, but here I remember that you specifically were supposed to to use the expressions of belief or expressions of, uh, let's see, thoughts, expressing ideas. For example, I think, I believe, I'm sure of, things like that. So that's very much what we were supposed to do with here, but especially as the exercise, or as an example I gave you before. So you can use that as a pattern to complete this exercise. So at this time, there you have the sentences that we are going to use to work with, right? So you can start, Nyan. Uh, okay. Uh, I think computer won't be so for uh, $5. I think how housework will be done by robot. I think smell wouldn't be included in the films and TV shows you watch at home. I think hotels won't be built on a board. I think all exams will be taken online. Okay, very good, uh, amazing. I think cars will be powered by solar energy. I think okay. Chinese won't be spoken by everybody in the world. I think words will be fought to get fresh water. Okay, very good. So maybe you can use an other sentences like I believe and things like that, but that's fine. For my part, I think that's fine. That's very good. So now let's proceed to the lesson. So I want you to look at this. So Nyan, were you aware that the previous classes uh, on the 21st, uh, it was a holiday? Yes, uh, we can do recheck, let's say the PowerPoint. 
Uh, no, I was going to say to you, I'm sorry, I was going to say to you, uh, were you aware that last class was a holiday? Yes. Okay, sorry. okay. Did you receive a communication? Yeah, in the group. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. So here we're going to start with grammar. Uh, did I share to you positive? Like present, perfect, and future? Did I teach you yeah. this topic? Yeah. Okay, I, I think today is E. Is this one, reading vampire, vampire stories. Uh, are you uh, sharing the presentation? Let me see. Wait, but uh, in the, wait, but did you do something? In the new in the holiday. Oh yeah, actually, uh, holidays, uh, with my family here in America. Then we were uh, we went around church. We went to some places, and everything was pretty good. Everything was fine. Sharing with family, you know, eating good food. So many things, right? Noodles, things like that. <laughs> yeah, but in Vietnam, so this is not like uh, our New Year, our New Year spider we do in uh, by the lunar calendar. So about February is our New Year. February? Yeah, uh, we use the lunar calendar. Oh, lunar calendar? Yeah. So we, oh. uh, we this is not our New Year. Okay, I understand. Okay. So anyway, so that's something important to know. That's something very good to know. I heard it before, but now I confirm how it works. So I'm so glad to know. And so just here, let me share my screen to you. So today we're gonna to have unit 10 E. Or less or less than 10 E. So we'll be talking about vampire stories. So look at that. Any vampire, you know? Uh vampire. I want you to look at the photos, all right? Do you know the author? Do you know an author of a book or the actor? Uh no. I don't know the actor. Uh, I don't know the uh, author of the book. Like I, I don't. Really, I just know about vampire, but I don't really care who we created. Okay, I want you to listen carefully. So we are going to understand more about vampires. I don't know if you ever heard about. I don't know if you ever heard about Dracula. Oh yes. I know. It was yeah. a uh, vampire. It was kind of like a vampire with, you know, large teeth like that. So it was a very popular film. Yeah, he's the greatest vampire in the history. Dracula. Yeah, so let me tell you this. What would you going to do here? So first exercise. We are going to read the test quickly, all right? And you are gonna tell me what type of test is it, right? Meaning the, the nature of the test, whether the test is informative, all right? Uh, if the test is something about fancy, it depends on your opinion. But I want you to help me, all right, with this test. Maybe you can read it for me. I will pay attention to you. Based on your skills to analyze the test, so I'll be evaluating you this part. Okay. Okay. So let me read it. Okay. Uh, Listen carefully before before you go in. Okay. Listen carefully. That is before you go. Listen carefully. 
Lesson Ten E, Exercise Two. Okay. The vampires return. They're young, they're rebellious, and they have a taste for blood. This description fits not only the characters in modern vampire novels, but also many of the readers. Some teenagers love vampire stories so much it's almost an addiction. But what is their appeal? Is it the plot or the characters? And why are they so popular with teenagers in particular, apart from the blood? The modern fashion for vampire stories probably started in 1976, with the publication of *Interview with the Vampire*, a novel by the American writer Anne Rice. This novel and its sequels are known as the Vampire Chronicles. And about 80 million copies have been sold around the world. They are different from earlier vampire stories in one important way: some of the vampires are likable characters. For example, the main character Louis needs to drink blood to survive, but he hates harming people. There are two different sides to his personality, and many teenagers can identify with this. When the stories were made into a film, the part of Louis was played by Brad Pitt. The most successful vampire books of the last ten years are the four novels in the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer. The books are about the relationship between the female lead Bella Swan and a young, sensitive vampire called Edward Cullen. The first novel, Twilight. Was written in 2003. When the author finished the final chapter, she wrote an epilogue, and then another, and then another. She realized she had enough ideas for more novels. That is why she wrote the sequels, and millions of teenagers around the world are glad that she did. They love the mix of fantasy, horror, and romance. The novels have been made into successful films too. Although Twilight is a 21st century sensation, in fact, the popularity of vampire stories is nothing new. In 1897, the Irish writer Bram Stoker wrote a novel called Dracula. 25 years later, the film director Max Schreck made the first vampire film, Nosferatu. The film was so similar to Bram Stoker's novel. That his family took legal action against the film studio, and won. The film studio had to destroy the film, but fortunately, a few secret copies survived, and in the 1990s, the film was seen again for the first time in 70 years. Like a true vampire, Nosferatu came back from the dead, and a lot of the familiar imagery of vampires, which teenagers love. Pale skin, black hair, red lips, dates back to the original novel and film. Horror stories are particularly popular with teenagers, and that is partly the appeal of vampire novels. But teenagers also enjoy the important themes: the fight between good and evil, or the difference between what you want to do and what you should do. For example, in the Twilight books. Can Edward show his love for Bella and look after her, or will the vampire side of his personality win? These issues are interesting for teenagers who are just starting to face life's big questions about love, morality, good and evil. For teenagers in the real world, most problems aren't a matter of life and death, but they often feel like it. Okay. So let's see here what's happened. Let's talk about okay. vampire. The vampire return. So Nyan, what's your opinion about this test? Did you understand what's going on here? Yes. So they are telling us about the history of vampire. And let me yeah. ask you something. What is a vampire for you? A vampire. It's like, uh, let's see. It's like wait. Uh, for me, the vampire. I don't know how to describe 
Okay. It's Would you like uh, yeah? a different species. I don't think they are human. <laughs> oh, they are a different species. Well, okay, it's they like... are a sort of different species. Yeah. Let me ask um, you something. Is there a similarity between a vampire and a human being? Uh, yes. Like their face, like shape. So it's the same. But in some story, so they can change to uh the bat. Yeah, a bat. So I don't think they are human. Especially the uh, teeth, so right? All right. Yes. And so the vampire. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you first. No, I was gonna say the vampire was the story of like um, you know, was that a story of a man that that usually uh, usually met somebody that was a human being and he wanted to he wanted to bite the a girl and you should in real life the film was performed i think it was by brad pitt and after that once the vampire right uh would you know bitten right or bite all right the um, the human the, the the girl or the lady in the story and novel so after that so it's kind of like they were going to become a right vampires too with long teeth when they open their mouth they have long teeth like this you know and then after that they change their nature but it was very popular this kind of uh, novels right because from there, there was after that a movie. And then uh, even they stopped the movie, but then after the, uh, later, after years later, so again, they restarted with this movie, Dr uh, Dracula, you know, and it's obviously about vampires. Let me ask you something. What is your opinion about vampires? So it's good. It's a good story. Like, uh, we yeah. can uh, use it a, a lot in uh, different movies. But I think that they need to for the teenagers, and they they don't need to add the same with the blood because it's not so bad. Like, it's scared. So I I I hope that uh when a movie for the teenager uh with them vampire so they don't make any sense of blood so it's easier to 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 watch to watch yeah yeah i do understand it's kind of like for them it's easier to like to suck the blood on the body of yeah. someone else but i thought that was the most intriguing part of this kind of movies and novel and novels all right because yeah. since we saw these things on tv all right, many people are expected things to things like that might happen in real life. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I usually like, it's like you scared. Sorry. Uh, I just say that it's make me scared. Like uh when oh, I yeah, I do understand. I, I, I do understand, but the thing is that. So those, uh, at first it became a little to work, a little to work, then became popular, then became more popular. And then you see everybody talks about Dracula all over the world, okay? Yeah, so famous. That is correct. So let me see if there is another question for you here before we continue with this exercise. Let me see. Okay, so let's do this exercise. Number two. So as you already uh, as you already read the test quickly, let me ask you, what type of what type of test is it? So you're gonna choose from A, B, C, or D. Do let me know, please. Uh check of what check of this paragraph. Like number one is what letter, two is what letter, it's like that, right? 
Hello. I'm not listening well, Nian. Can you say that again one more time? Say that. Uh, so like we will uh, we will make like uh type of text like one is one letter two. Yeah, one letter, yeah, that's like, right. That is correct. You're going to match the letter, all right, with the speech. Just listen carefully. So you can start with the audio. Listen carefully. Hello. Uh, yeah. um, Are you there? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go. Um, I think number one is uh, uh, an article. Uh, right. Number one is uh, A. Number one is A. One A. Okay, continue. Uh, number two. Look at number two. Number two is uh, wait, 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 wait. number two is um, it's a uh, personal account. Please. Okay. You finish? Uh, number number five, D, number three. Uh, it's short story. And number four, I don't know, number four, what? Okay, the number four. Can you read it one more time? Number four is this talk about the 21 centuries, like how the vampire about the women. In here, they just have four letters. So how can we match with five paragraphs? Okay, number four is uh, number four as you say it. All right, like the letters. You know, I'm referring to letter D. All right, refer. I mean, I'm referring to number four there. So you're gonna match with the letters, right? You get yeah, the exercise? No, I mean that why they just have four letters. So how can we match with yeah, five let, numbers? Let me show you. Five oh, in here. But this one is exercise of five. Okay. Look at there. Okay. So let's go ahead. I think you did it very well. Uh, there you have the key answer key, the key answers. So let's do exercise number three, All right? Look at the exercise number three. Do let me know once you're ready. Number four. Uh, you are in. Can you see it? Uh, I see. Where you are in another another unit, another chapter. Um. No. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me see. Just one second. Okay, here it is. Okay. Uh, I can find up a four, right? Okay. Uh, so that's okay. number four. There you need to find these words related to novels in the test. They match them with the definitions, definitions below. For example, novels, chapters, characters, epiglot, female lead, plot, and then sequel. Okay. Uh, yeah. number, number three is uh chapter. Number three is chapter. Hello. Okay, what is number one? Number one is character. Okay, look at this. Nyan, look at this. So look at this. The people in a novel, what is that? Character. Characters. Let's see number two. Another book with which continues the same story. 
Sequel. Sequel, that's right. Number three, a section of book. Chapter. A section of the book, I mean. So listen carefully, number four, an extra, a bit so, I mean, an extra, a bit of a story at the end. What is it? Epilogue. Okay. The man, the main, the main girl or woman in the story. What is it? Female, female lead. Okay, that's very good. Good, great job. Well done. So look at this exercise. It's very simple, right? So we are going to complete questions, the questions with the word below. We are going to use the right questions, words only to complete this exercise. Okay? So listen carefully. The second. I can look here. Okay, okay. Nyan, can you see my screen? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so there we have different uh, root that it starts with the letter A, that, uh, that it starts sometimes with the letter, uh, with the letter um, W. So we have words that start with the letter W. They are well known as WH questions. We usually ask them, or use them, all right? to ask for people, something, right, et cetera. So can you help me completing these sentences? Well, you, we, uh, we, we are in exercise number five, right? That's right, exercise number five. Okay, uh, number one is when, number two is who. Okay, in this three. case you should, uh, in this case you should say it, like the whole the whole sentence, like when I was interviewed with a, the vampire published. So this okay, one, okay. you know what I mean? Yes. Number one is when was interview with the vampire published. So who wrote the vampire chronicles? Three, how many copies of the novels have been sold? And before, what did Stephanie Mayer write immediately after the last chapter of Twilight? Number five, why did Bram Stoker's family take legal action? And number six, which terms of which term do vampire stories often deal with? Great. Okay, which things do vampire stories often deal with? <laughs> Very good. So let me ask you something, ask and answer. Question for you. So let me ask you, when was the interview with the vampire published? 1976. Okay. So let me ask you something. Who wrote the Vampire Chronicles? Oh, wait. Can you go back to the paragraph so I can see it? Because I'm not really remember about it. You want me to go backwards to the paragraph? Yes. Okay. So here is the paragraph, all right? So look at here. Maybe you can take it out from there. Okay, so you can uh, the one the one row uh out of the interview with the vampires, uh, Annie Rice. Okay, let me see. Annie Rice. Say this part again, Nyan. Uh, out of the interview with the vampires, Annie Rice. Okay, so look at here. So I'll be going to question number two. Look at here. Here's the question again. Okay, who? All right. Uh, Annie Rice. 
any rice. Okay, next one. How many? Uh, how many copies of the novel? Right? Uh, it's about million, 80 million copies. All right, so what? Uh, what did uh, Stephanie? She wrote uh, Epi Clock, Epi Lock. Okay, so I think we we'll say with the number two, Nyan. So number, let me see, let me see, let me see. So number three, how many? 80 millions. Okay, let me see. What? Uh, when you are asked about it. What did the Stephanie Mayer write in the after the last chapter of Twilight? Epilogue. She wrote Epilogue. Number five, why? Why did Bram Stoker family take legal action? Because uh, the movies are uh, like, uh, it's so similar to Bram Stoker novels. The film was so similar to the novels. Okay, let me see. Um, what if you say number, let me see. So let me see with why. Because the movie, the film is look so similar to the novel. Okay, okay. okay. And what about which? Which things do vampire story often deal with? What do you mean, theme of story? Okay. Ah. So look at that. Look at, did I tell you with which? Did you do it with uh, which? Which things do vampire stories often deal with? A uh, fight between the good and the evil, fight between the thing you you want to do and you should do. Okay, amazing. Yes. So look at this. Let's listen to this. This is the next exercise. All right, that's pretty much. Once again, listen carefully. It's pretty much a text that we're going to analyze and understand. So look at this. Is a song more than it, anything else. Listen carefully, right? You ready? Yes. Lesson 10E, okay. exercise okay. seven, bloodletting, the vampire song. Yes, I can hear. What are you? Can you listen well? Yes, very well. Very okay. good. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to continue. I just wanted to make sure that you are listening well, so I can ask you questions. I know obviously it's a long song, but it's still we can you can analyze to answer the questions. Okay. Okay.
Okay, or just Hello. for Okay, Nyan, what just for you? Yes, sir. Okay, so now that we listen to the story, I mean the song, okay, questions for you. Who is the singer talking to? Uh, a person who fits her and makes her a vampire. Okay. Let it be, okay. So which one is the correct answer, Yen? Uh, B. I think it's B. Okay, you think it's B. Let's check the answer. Let it be. Well done. So now this is what we are going to do. Ask and answer the question. So you're going to answer, and I'm going to ask you. Look at the pattern over here. Would you like to be a writer? No, no. I wouldn't. Why not? Because uh, I think it will be really boring. So it's uh, it's pretty much like very short. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, let me see how you answer the questions, right? Would you like to be okay. a writer? No, Why? I wouldn't. Why not? Uh, because I think it will be very hard to do. Okay. So number two. What kind of books would you be most interested to write in your opinion? Fiction, no, fiction novel. Fiction, all right. Okay, yes. Let me see. Can you- Fiction novel. Your choice? Uh, because like I can use my, uh, I want my, Uh, my imagine to build up the world with something I want, like for the novel, for the fiction, so I can make things like uh, with the magic. I can create them work with the magic. Okay, so let me see. Let me ask you something, Yan. So, why would you, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to be a doctor? Uh, I mean, can you answer that? I, I'm sorry. Let me re let me reorganize the question. I, I'm saying I was trying to say, why would you like to be? Why would you like to be or to decide to to be the one writing something? Like for example so you can understand me better. So why would you like in the future, for example, to write something? If so, if so, if the answer is affirmative, what would you write? Oh, what are you trying to say? No, I'm saying, would you like to write something in the future? Like maybe a book, a magazine or something like this, like that? No, not really. Oh, you're not passionate about writing? Yeah. And why not? It's hard and uh, um, I don't to like you, to write. I think, all right? Because I think. Uh, because, because I think that, uh, uh, it's hard and I don't really, I don't like that. I don't like to like uh, writing books. Yeah. I oh, don't you don't like, like writing books. That's not your passion. All right. Very good. So look at this. <laughs> and what if we exercise this part of writing something? Uh, so I we try to write it. Look at this. Look at this, something I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a homework. So let's say that you will like to write something. Let's say whatever you want, maybe a comic, maybe a cartoon, maybe, let me see, a magazine, or maybe, let me see, what, whatever you want, right? So, but I want you to write something, maybe an essay, maybe uh, some, some summaries of an, novellas right 
anything you want, all right? So, but the thing is that I want you to write something that has to do with a popular story, uh, at least two paragraphs. You get my point? I, I, you know what? I just delete the novel, uh, my own novel, like the novel about the you did uh, it? Word in the, yeah, I did a novel about uh, 10,000 words, but then I just deleted like it's about uh, where I will so have it's a short story, but I did, I accidentally deleted in when I, but I, don't I you have it on computer. your drive? I will try to find it. I will show you what, uh, hope you, I hope you like, hope you like it, but I don't think it will make you. Like because uh, I just write it when no, I was. No, because uh, what we can do here in this case is gonna be like, you know, the main ideas. You know, it's like to see your creativity, how creative you are when it comes to summarizing, creating. Uh, let's say, for example, um, uh, uh, you know, literary, literary work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but I, I would. I will try to find it if I can find out it. I can will send to you. So you can try to read it, but I think it's really young. A really no, long. That's no long problem about. because remember that that has to do with literature. You know what I mean? So when you when you do this with literature, especially um like uh things that has to do with the story, short stories, so it's gonna help you improve, right? the skills that you already have in terms of analyzing, uh, scheming, predicting, connecting ideas, and all that. Okay, I will try to find it. I think it is in the, my Google Drive. So when I find out, I will send to you, okay? Perfect, so that'll be the homework for you today. I share it to you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for being active in the class. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, all right, with this um, connectivity issues. Anyway, so hope to see you tomorrow at, Bye. The, at, at the same time. And have a fantastic rest of the day. Okay. See you, Nyan.